There's a distinction in our interpreter right now that's implicit, and we need to make more explicit. That's the distinction between a value, which is the result of interp, and expression, which is the argument to interp. Here's an example of an expression, a curly expression, plus one, two. That's something we can pass to interp, and we'll get back the result three. Three is a value, it's a result, that we represent using just a number, three. The expression has numbers inside of it, but this one right here has to be wrapped with nummy to turn it into a number expression. So expressions go in, values come out. That's the definition of what a value is, but there are some implications like a value can be an argument to a function, because we evaluate an argument expression and then we pass the argument into the function through the environment. Or the result of the right-hand side of a let that we bind to a variable, that is a value. So anything we can pass to a function or bind using let, those are the values. Curly also has functions. Are functions values in Curly? No, they're not. That's because while we can define a function, like the double function here, and we can call a function, a function can't be the result of interp, which means we cannot pass a function to another function, we cannot uh, bind it using the name let, uh, to a name using let. All we can do is call a function. Sometimes we call this a first order function because they always have to appear right after a curly brace. They can't be passed into another function. How about in plate? Functions are values in plate. That's different from curly. You can see this by in plate defining the function double and then just writing double down. So here I'll define double x plus xx. Then I can evaluate the expression without calling double, just double by itself and Dr. Racket prints doubled out. It says it's of type number to number, that means it's a function as a value, um, and uh, its name happens to be double. If I want to, I can put double in a list because it is uh, just a value and I can make lists of values. So here I've got a list containing double twice. All of the built-in functions, like plus, can also be used as values. So I can write just plus, and I see procedure plus there. I can make a list of all the arithmetic operations if I want to because they're all just values. So you can define a function and that's a value. You can use the primitive ones as values. You can also write just a function directly using lambda. The word lambda is a funny way of writing function, and this means a function that takes x and returns x plus x. If I try that out here, lambda x plus xx, then yes, that's the function. And that's the function that takes an x and uh, doubles it. Usually we don't apply lambdas directly, but what we might do is pass it to another function, like map. Map is a built-in function that wants a function to apply to every element of the list. So I could use map on double to double all of the numbers in 1, 2, 3, or if I happen to, already, to not already have a, a definition of double, then I could make it up right here and map the number, map that doubling function over the list, 1, 2, 3, and I will get 2, 4, 6. I'll show you some more examples of map and lambda in a little bit. But overall, the reason functions as values are good is that it makes abstraction easier. Map is an example of an abstraction, the idea of doing something to every element of a list and getting a list back. Filter and fold are similar. They, they work on list. They take a function to say what to do with each element of the list, although they use the list in a different way than map. Another reason that functions as values are good is because we can get rid of the define form that we added to curly for defining functions. Uh, instead of defining f, we could let f be the result of a lambda expression if we add lambda to curly and have functions as values. And then uh, having bound f to that function, we can apply f just as we did before with definitions. So that's what we're going to do next is add lambda to curly.